dug off the uh, side of it down onto what's called the cluffs which takes you sort of to the top of Jacob's Ladder which is basically just over there and uh, two aircraft wrecks on there that I've been to before but uh, there's recently been an engine uncovered which has been missing for quite a while it's buried um, pick that up just for the uh, for the hell of it so not much there, two debris pools, one for Harvard which crashed in 1952 Harvard or Hamden, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll look when I get there, I always get confused with him and uh, the other one's an Anson which crashed in 1945 so and that's the one where the engine has just been refound so I'll go and have a, have a fettle and we're heading up there, Crowd and Clough over the top there. A little bit breezy and a bit chilly. There's still a bit of ice from uh, from the weekend when we had a bit of snow. Nothing too dramatic. It might be a bit sketchy going up some steeper paths up there. We'll see when we get there. That away. Ladder. We're going to come down that later on. But we're going up here, up Crowden Brook, Crowden Clough.
starts getting steep now you can go up that path there but you can cut across the shoulder there's a bit of a scramble in the gully itself I think that's the way I'm going to go today I think Throwing the door an easier way of getting up there though Just try something That worked Well that is Crowd and Clough and Crowd and Brook this path and we want it plateau kinder finds low knoll over there there yeah. mam tour rush up's edge horse hill tour just bear me around back So, saved a bit for me. Tower, and then down to the wool packs and then breaking left at the wool packs and now down more this direct line of sight to Jacob's ladder instead of going round the top because two aircraft wrecks as I said on there so go and scout them out or oh, the missing bit I've been to say I've been to two of them before but uh, the engine's been found for the Anson so that off is the plan. Yeah. Quite pleasant when there's no wind, but as soon as the wind comes up, I see. Mud pit, see what it's like when it's iced over a bit.
side of this gully. Small debris pools, nothing substantial debris nonetheless. So I just wonder where to stop and have dinner. There's a waterfall at the bottom, so I think what I'll do is I'll go down and find these two, find the engine, drop off the face, and uh, at the bottom of Jacob's Ladder there's like a little hidden waterfall what not many people seem to know about. They just come up and go straight up Jacob's if they come around the base of it and around the corner. There's about a 15 foot waterfall there, nice little hidden treasure. So I'll probably uh, have dinner down there, I think. And I'll have a faff. I'll get these ticked off first and uh, crack on. Just approaching Arvid side. January exactly when I get back home. But the Harvard's just up there, about 300 metres, uh, 1952, Avro Anson, 1945. So that's the known pieces, and then say there's an engine in here somewhere, which we'll have a look for next. Four hundred feet. Watch the like underground the rivers. Which we have to cross so basically from what I'm led to believe.
guessing is this hole here, which looks to be, if I don't fall down the bleeding thing, one engine. Outstanding. there now, that's Jacob's ladder, and down bottom, just got to cross over onto there, past that rock and down. Yeah, I've been here about three months ago, you know, quite wet and seriously overgrown, but nowhere they found that light, and he's uh, doing a top job. Another one bites the dust. Time I get off it all though. Snake passably shut. Well, not many out. I've seen uh, probably a dozen people. Certainly nobody on Jacob's ladder. Gets you, you put your foot down, and there ain't no there. Next stop, the bottom. There's Jacob's ladder, everybody just comes walking straight up there, misses things like that. And several more around, I'm going to investigate them myself at some point.
Ace of Jacob's ladder. Just come down off at Cluffs though, off of there, and round this way rather than away. Just going to do a fitness test up, uh, see if we can still do it in one go. And five minutes 36, I think, is me time to beat. So when I'm at the top of the game. Back to car. About another yeah, mile and a half now of this uh, track through a farm, through a farm track. Little oh, crowd and cloth up there. Back along this road now, half a mile maybe. Five point one one miles, two and a half hours. Not bad, I suppose. Only a little in. <laughs> 